Hi everybody, I'm so excited because my kids are about to come home from school. And um, I have this brand new game that just was released and is on sale now called Osmo. And the kids have not seen it, but... Okay, so this is it. This is the Osmo packaging. Look. Play it. That's what we're going to do. We're about to play it. You're about to play it. Okay. It's this amazing interactive game um, that you play with your iPad with a little, like, um, it's a little, like reflector mirror that you put on top of it with all with this interactive game and it's just incredible and I cannot wait to show them the game Osmo and I cannot wait to play it myself this is great moms you're gonna love it kids you're going to freak out with excitement love this packaging it is um, three different boxes but it sort of has a magnet that you can sort of just boop, put on um, and it comes with this, with the tangram, and with the, um, with the base. See, so it comes like this. See? Osmo. Words, the tangram, and then the base. And the base, ha um, this comes with the, um, a basic base, and then that little red thing is the camera, or the, the little red thing is a mirror that I'll show you in a second. But look how easy it is. You can sort of, even the packaging is sort of like an interactive game. This game that we're playing is called Osmo. Osmo. Okay, so how do you play it? We have no idea. Well, I'm going to teach you. Okay. Easy, right? I was like, it says pull. Okay, and you take this. We've got a mini iPad, right? Mm -hmm. So, this is how it works. Can I put it in? Yeah. There is a, hold on, put it, put it up there. You got to make sure the camera's on the top. Wait, take the kiss. Can I put it in? Okay, and what we did is we downloaded these apps. Words. Words, Tangram, and Newton, and the apps were free, okay? And now, this is a special um, reflective uh, device that you put on top here. Because what it does is the camera, as you see, is like right there. See how the camera's right there? You put this right here. Okay, so Matea, you're going to do the tangram. Okay? okay. These are the apps. Jared, can you get that? Let's choose from all, all the different tangrams, and there are levels. See, I completed that one, and I also completed wherever it is, um, I think. Which age different animals are there? Uh, I think there's lots of birds, and this is a horse, this is a another bird, this is um, a bird, that's a bird, that's a bird, that's a person, and that's a rabbit. My problem has been that my kids are too much on the online games with the phones and all that. And all that, it's fine to a point, but it gets a little crazy. And I remember when I was a child that I, we would play these games with the family. And I sometimes feel like I'm disconnected with the kids. And so this game, for me, is a great way to meld our love for technology along with the fact that we need more bonding time with the family and we need our kids to really have some physical, interactive play and to understand the benefits of playing kind of traditional games.
the, what they've done is they've taken these traditional games like wordplay and um, tangram and just you know some fun things like drawing and um, combine them with the interactive aspects of of basically some online games. Now we've got Alec in here. And he's going to draw off of these balls. Not yet. See? Oh, he did it! You're going to try to get Yay. the ball. Those balls. Draw. And look, he's drawing. And also playing a game oh on the gosh. screen. Yay! I'm, I'm using the pen. That marker makes too much noise. I know. Keep drawing. Oh my gosh! I think I have goosebumps. I have Wait. Okay, I put her monkey in there. Monkey! <coughs> Were you done with the call? She didn't know how to do it, I guess. That's so cool that you can put, okay, so what are you putting in next? Pony, pony can shop. What's that? It's a pony. Pony, what can I do? Yeah. Let's try the puppy. It looks like Simba. No, it's gonna Do you like it better than regular computer games? Yes, I actually do. Positive about that. I actually do. Okay. Mommy! Yes, tell me. I want to do the shapes. You want to do the shapes, the tangrams? Yeah. Can I do it now? Yeah, you can do oh, it now after you have now. your dinner. Well, I need love it. It's basic. It's simple, but it's something so funny. Beef pudding, young patties. Yeah, I just need ketchup. Nice. Well, I say it's funny because it's basically just taking classic games but introducing them to children who maybe have only been exposed mostly to um, and online games and so it's so new and fresh to them where some of us will go well we were playing that when we were kids but we haven't we weren't playing it as kids like this this is special this is unique and I love it what did you think I think it's Osmo so cool. I think I think Osmo is a really fun game it's fun doing the tangrams, the words and the drawings um, it's really fun, so you should go try it. So please, I've set up a little link in the description for you to um, be able to figure out how to get Osmo. I would highly recommend you getting Osmo for your family because it's fun. It's um, definitely something very, very unique. Everybody will enjoy it. It's fun for you guys to play together. It's educational as well. It's great for their minds. It's really fun, so you should go try it. I love it. Osmo, go get it, please. Oh, here's a little story of a mom and dad. She's no Angelina. Yeah, and he's not Brad. We're raising lots of kids from all over the world. Three bad boys. That should meet the girls. Sam and Andrew, it's important to mention. We're born in New York City via two C-sections. Matea was adopted in 2005. She came from Guatemala. She had a chicken alive. Ethiopia called in 2009.